Hi, I'm Bob Lamastro, and I want to thank you for purchasing this Powerline demonstration kit. I developed this kit after years of teaching electrical safety and realized we needed something more visual to get the point across. And I needed something that I could pack up and ship. So I created a kit in a Pelican case that's easy to pack and ship. The kit comes with a Jacob's Ladder and an overhead power line demonstration. After unlocking the tabs, remove the back pins so that the lid can be separated from the case. All the components are neatly stored in the lid or the glove box provided. Next you want to remove the parts from the lid. You can just set them off to the side for now. Now we're ready to set it up. I normally start by setting up my Jacob's Ladder. The enclosed fiberglass rod works real well as a gauge to set up the gap at the base of your Jacob's Ladder. Now we're ready to set up the power line. Each of the poles is threaded into the base. Now we want to install the overhead power line. When the kit is new, the fittings will be a little snug, but don't worry, they'll loosen up after you've used it for a little while. and we're ready to start our demonstrations. Switching from the Jacob's Ladder to the overhead power lines is simple. Just bend the Jacob's Ladders out of the way and bring your power leads over to the energized ports and you're ready to go. This is a good time to point out that we use class 2 dielectric gloves and safety glasses. We'll start off with a metal ladder. This clearly indicates why there's a 10-foot rule for movable conductors. If there's three feet of sag in the wire, that's six foot of movement. Four foot means eight foot of movement. Our next demonstration illustrates that not just any rubber product is an insulator. Here we're using a nitro glove and it quickly catches fire. You can also use an old dielectric glove with a pinhole in it, slipped over our metal rod. Next I want to talk about the properties of wood. Most people think that wood is conductive. When it's dry, it's not. But if we add a little bit of moisture, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but in the classroom you can clearly see it arcing through the wood. Now we're going to illustrate the properties of fiberglass. And as you can see, I'm so confident in its dielectric properties, I do it barehanded until it's wet, and then it acts just like the wet wood. And you can clearly see in the classroom that it sparks along the surface. This next demonstration is one of my favorites. We use a hot dog attached to the fiberglass rod. Now, human tissue, 85 to 92 percent water or mineral in solution, clearly arcs across the hot dog. And now you've finished your demonstration. Enjoy. Never forget, this is a live demonstration using 17,000 volts. Wear your gloves, wear your safety glasses. And keep control of your demonstration at all times.